Hey y'all, Clayton Adams again here with National Trailer Source down in Rose City, Texas. And today I'm going to show y'all, Mike, Mike, that's not, that's the Alpha Wolf, the Cherokee Alpha Wolf. It only comes out in the summertime when the camping's the best. Look at it. Take a look at him. Man, he's got, he's got eyes in the back of his head. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll take your word for it. But let's get a closer look at it. Come on, come on, man. But first, we need to throw it in four-wheel drive. Now we're good. Let's take a look. All right, so this Alpha Wolf can get to 29 and a half feet long, 11 foot tall, mate. It's big. I mean, look at this. Just, wow, it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And I told you, it's got an eye in the back of its head. Let's go take a look. Look, see there, mate? I told you, it's got an eye in the back of its head. That comes standard. All right. And when it's really good and mad, you're going to see that 20-foot awning come out. Look at that. Most of the time, the alpha wolf likes to cook its prey. <laughs> it can keep it cold, too, with some ice, if you know what I mean there, mate. Is it safe to go in now? Yeah, mate, everything's safe now. You can go and take a look inside. Whew, sure glad that guy was here. Let's go ahead and look inside this 23 DBH. We're about to see the total control center. Guys, everything on this can be controlled from your phone. Truly a great feature that they put inside their trailers. Really, really like this touch. On the slide box here, you're gonna have a huge U-shaped dinette and your pantry. One feature I'll always point out in the Cherokee is the storage underneath the dinette. Absolutely massive drawers. Let's check out the room in the nose of this trailer. Dual entry into the bedroom. Gonna have private lights above, hanging closet on both sides, storage underneath the bed. The color scheme they've gone with on this trailer is really, really nice. I really like this feature. Gonna go over here and look at the USB and 110 on both sides. Again, there's your closet space. Plenty of storage overhead, along with some personal reading lights. Here on this wall, you're gonna have a sticker for where you can mount your TV yourself. Coming toward the kitchen, you're gonna notice a seamless countertop, the black stainless steel farmhouse sink, really good touches around here, plenty of storage around the sink and above. Taking a closer look at the sink, I want you to notice that the sink itself is very residential along with the faucet that they've chosen to use here, really makes this a nice feature. On this center entertainment, you're gonna have an electric fireplace, and then up top again, you'll have a mounting spot for your TV. Windows in this trailer are gonna be their solar thermo reflective windows, helping keep the trailer nice and cool. Going back to the kitchen, you're gonna have an oven, a three top burner, beautiful backsplash that they've added, and then you're gonna have a vent with the microwave on top. This trailer has a 10 cubic foot, 12 volt fridge. Guess what? That means you can run it off the solar panel that you have on top. And no kitchen's complete without a pantry. In this pantry, you're gonna have two shelves that are very deep, plenty of room for all the snacks that you're taking along. At the rear of this trailer, you're gonna see that we have two full-size bunk beds with the teddy bear material. Very nice and soft. Each bunk will have its own 110 outlet and USB outlet for any charging needs. Also, it's gonna have a personal light. Tired of tripping over the kids' shoes? Well, Cherokee's got you covered. They've built in a little cubby underneath this bunk bed just for that. Now over to the restroom. I love dual entry trailers for this reason. 
If you're out at the beach or out at the lake, you're dirty and covered in mud or sand, you can walk straight into this bathroom, not tracking anything through the trailer itself. Another great feature to point out in this trailer is going to be the porcelain commode. And last is our vanity with storage underneath, motion detector light, and a medicine cabinet up top. In this Alpha Wolf, there are many features I didn't get to point out like the on-demand tankless water heater, the Bluetooth radio, 10.5 ducted AC unit. You're also gonna have the benefit of their zebra day and night shades. Really good touch that I like about their trailers. The U-shaped dinette does break down into a bed so you can sleep between six to eight people in this trailer. Underneath in your pass-through storage, you'll have your battery disconnect, another motion sensor light to check out what your solar's bringing in. As we make our way back in front of this trailer, just some more things are the sturdy steps from Moride. Again, that outdoor kitchen with a two-top burner, mini fridge, and ice maker. Again, those Bluetooth speakers can play inside and outside. Tires are equipped with a tire pressure monitor. And then you're also going to have the LP Quick Connect right there underneath the kitchen. At the back of the trailer, you're going to have the flip down travel rack, up to 250 pound carrying capacity, spare tire, ladder prep, and again, there's that backup camera. And then around the skirt, it is a armored underbelly tank enclosure, so that's good to keep everything protected. And then you're also going to have a manual jacks, super easy, go get you a cheap impact from Harbor Freight, throw it in that front pass-through storage. Up here on the nose, last little touch is that rock guard and a power tongue and jack for all your trailer needs. Give me a shout, Clayton Adams, 409-769-7993.